And then once again, we have to make sure everything is set up. And then people are logging in and following us in live, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm Christelle. And I'm Sophie. I'm six years old. And I'm Emma. And we're the Olivia Ambassadors. And so we've been using. And my husband is the one behind the camera, if you were wondering. <laughs> Thank you to him. Um, <laughs> so we're going to show you what our little park looks at home. Uh, we use plenty of household items, the cones, the pool noodles, you can use cardboard box. Or you can use dolls or horses. Trash. Just gather whatever you find. My kids love horses, so it's a perfect way to go around. Um, if you have your balance board, you can use pretty much anything. Or maybe a little box. A little <laughs> box, yeah. So that's our first level, and then we'll go down to another level. So first, let me tell you about the the riglet a little more. So that's what the riglet is. It's a little plastic ball, edgeless. Um, so it's safe for little ones to play around. Grip here, so you don't need the bindings. So right now we'll be using that one. Um, can you hold that selfie for me please? Thank you. And then because we're on a hardwood floor, we'll use the little hover cover. It's just so you don't scratch your floor and it's mm -hmm. easy to pull around your little ones. And then to pull them, we'll be using the rigged reel that you just get attached here and you can actually ad adjust the length. Um, that you need, and you need shorter, and sometimes you need longer. So there you go. Let me put that down. Um, just a little more about us. The girls started a lot on their roulette board for a long time when we were on it. My husband and I were not well beginner snowboarders, so we weren't sure how to get the girls on snow with us without them getting everybody on the ground. So for a couple of seasons we were on the little park, we played in the house, we played in the backyard, we went to get the mail when they were little, do like a little train on the snow. Um, we took it, we traveled with it and just had fun with it, right? The girls just pulled their dolls around <laughs> the house. It was to fun. To make it a little bus. <laughs> uh, it was awesome to learn the basic. All what's balanced, the first skills that they need on the snow. So the more they practice at home, the less um, nervous and anxious they'll be on the snow when there is like the cold, the wind, the snow, the mittens, the snow pants and everything. So we've loved that. And after a couple of seasons, they were ready to go on snow. And that was a very fast learning curve for them. They were ready for it, right? Okay. So we're gonna show you first, uh, how to learn to balance. We're going to do balancing first. So we're going to take the pool noodle and you can or take... Or whatever you have. Or you can use boxes. You can use box, you can use that little trash, you can use a pillow. Um, it's really to get them started on it. There you go. We're going to go first, self, self. Hold on. There you go. And so first they can yeah, get used to be on it. They can go foot to foot. And that's how you learn your grabs. You can learn the grabs. So that's the nose. The nose is the front of the snowboard. And then that's the mute. And then the tail, the tail grab. So the tail is the end, the other side the, I don't know, of the snowboard. And then here's the indie grab, right? Don't teach them to bend their leg, <laughs> right, Sophie? Yeah. And wave and a fun. And, and, and then and you can also do these little one eighties. <laughs> they can when they feel ready about it. They can try the little one eighties, but like mostly first, like flexing and bend. Flex bend. Yeah, bending the bend. knees. You gonna show it, Emma? Gonna do it? Bend your knees, remember? Bend. Go. Wave. Say everybody hi. hi. There you go. So that's the first they can be learning when they're like very little and just working on balance. 
job. So once you feel comfortable, and then you're ready for the next step, we're gonna go around the little obstacle course we have. And first we're gonna start with a little hedgehog so the kids can see what it's gonna be about. So we'll start here. My kids love horses, uh, as I said already. And so we're just gonna take little hedgehogs around and say hi, Snowflake, and then come here, give her a high five. What's happening, hedgehog? Where's the high five? <laughs> no high five. <laughs> and then we saw Snowflake, and that's the end of our first little <laughs> So you can make your kids play. Play like that at first so they can see and they'll have to nervous when we put them on it. And then you can have siblings helping each other. The girls used to play a lot together. Ball, and then make sure that they were safe. If you have a little one that likes baseball or t ball, um, you can make it fun at the end. Or you can take a balloon and make him carry the balloon around. <coughs> okay, first we're gonna see uh, again. balancing and snowboarding but um, you can throw, yeah you can make it like learning skills, throwing balls, having fun. Um, and now we'll be using the bondage without the hover So that's what we had here and the hover floor and we used that one on the door. So without the bindings, no needs, the kids can just play with it. And then we use the hover cover. And this one no hover cover. Yeah, and then, um, so that was our first stop. We, the first stop was the Terry Park of Jackson Hall, and now we're gonna go to Crested Basement. Crested Basement. So just follow us around. Come on, follow us! We'll show you somewhere else! And do not use the half color with this one if you're gonna do it on soft floor, because that'll be harder to pull. Okay, so here we are making it to Crystal Basement. It's carpet and it's a little more advanced than what we did upstairs. And we're gonna need boots. We're gonna need boots. Okay, so we set it up. Hold on, selfie with the boots. Cardboard box. A chair, we're gonna make up like a little gift. That's something the kids will definitely we'll to take off the lid. Yeah, definitely if they can practice at home, they're always ready on the snow. And then a little teeter totter going here and the little bar, so getting down and the rainbow. Things you find around the house, so we use the slide. Slide. The sled. <laughs> <laughs> and boots. And yeah. So one thing that also you want to want to have them practice quite a bit at home to be independent. On. So put their boots on, put we their bindings on. We arrived at the station on. and we have to put our boots. Um, we have traveled up the mountain. Well, we have traveled two mountains. So when they have been comfortable and confident and they can... And so they can start to walk around. We've only one to strap. There you go. And can you, you just can hold? You can either do it from the back right here, uh -huh. like this, or from the front. Uh -huh. I don't the back. So you can Whatever one you're more comfortable with. So just with. go around. Whoa! So it's a good practice to have. It's fun. You get them exercise to go around. <laughs> 
And then when they make it to the chairlift, because we're on the mountain now, right? And we took the whole line because the line was It was a long line at the lift? Oh, man. Okay. And so it's time for the chairlift. So if you are a parent like us, we were, when we started, <laughs> the chairlift was probably the scariest part of, of snowboarding. We were already falling on our own, so taking two kids on top of it uh, was very scary. We Until you know how to do it. Like until I'm... we knew how to do it. Uh, so the girls practicing that little slide here was a huge help. So when we got there, we were able to just glide so you put them down and they knew almost kind of what to do. So some results let you keep your both foot strapped on. Come on. And some of lifts won't let you have two straps on. So, so just better try both. First the one with the one strap, with the two straps, and then the one strap. Here you go. Whenever one comfortable. So we're on the lift. What are we doing on the lift? We're Wait. singing song. Oh look, a bird! We sing a bird. We sing a fox. Wow. An owl. What are we singing? Beads. Oh, beads <laughs> on the trees. <laughs> on the trees. <laughs> Sorry, my husband was showing us something. I was new. I had no idea. <laughs> um. Oh, we sing somebody snowing. Okay. Oh, we're almost at the end, Sophie. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay. We're on the chairlift. Make sure we're mom on the is holding your hand. Okay. We're getting there. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Up the chair, look. The strap in. We made it. So we didn't fall. How's that feel? Good. Yes. Strap. Strap. Well, let's do it now. Then we're gonna strap and then have fun with whatever you decided to build. So if you don't have a beam like we have, you can use. A foam roller, a half one, um, and then we just use this, their snowboard without the bindings. Oh. <laughs> and uh, just get creative with whatever you have at home. That's what we want to show you that you can have fun, and try, keep snowboarding even if we're all, we, we, everybody's um, safe at home for now. And they can be ready for next season. Want me to do it, Emma? I can do it. Okay. Okay, we're going up to the little box or the rail. Ready? We made it. High five, Sosa. Woo! Okay. I almost fell. And then we're gonna go under. There's like we're in the forest. There is a tree, right? First and we're gonna get mom. We're gonna get mom a high five. Okay. Give mom a high five. A super high five. Super high five. That oh. makes you more confident. Sophie. A and branch. A branch. Oh, no. Bend. Bend. And there's a rainbow at the same time. There's a rainbow. And then we're almost at the end of the run, Sophie. Oh my. Yay. Here you go. And after there's a little trampoline. And we made it here. So that's what you can Yay. make as far as pulling the kids around. If you don't have that much space in your house, it's more limited and you cannot pull too much. There is a lot. What can you say, okay? of stationary things you can do without them like ticking all over the place so if you have a small little trampoline remember oh, to oh, always be safe and hold their hand or if you have the little like handlebar okay so they can practice and they can try the 180 there you go don't forget like hold their hands there you go so this is just, that's a great way to get the energy out <laughs> Perfect. And then we're gonna unstrap. Yeah. And then we're gonna bring it to Emma, so Emma can have some fun too. And it's good. Scoop, scoop, scoop around. There you go. Let's go back. Because everybody needs to practice, so we all go in. Everybody needs to practice if they wanna be a snowboarder. And like your sibling can just play, Sophie, what is your fun to take pictures? Oh, wait. Sophie likes to take pictures a lot, so that's something that the little sibling can do while the other one is playing, that way they're not waiting and getting cranky or anything. So it's just about getting everybody super happy. 
like our goal for us was to get the family into snowboarding even with we weren't we are gonna take some pictures amateurs <laughs> you ready to take pictures Daddy? so we were only amateurs but that's something that really really loved and we wanted to see yeah. the girls love that so before getting everybody on the snow and everything <laughs> uh, the regulate board was very super useful for us yeah you can have them like one tail side, press. tail side, the other side. Hi, Dad. You can try to spin. Oh, yeah. Spin. Spinning. Oh. Go. And you can do tail presses. Woo! Nose presses. Okay. And that's a good parent lookout. Because once that's stuck, you have to carry them. So here we go. Here we go. Two. <laughs> Emma's gonna start with another lift. <laughs> So don't do it too high. Just always oh, remember video. to be safe. A video. Okay. So Ready for the video. Okay, can you back up just a little bit, Tessa? Thank you. Right here for the, the right angle. Do you have a good angle? You get it's good. Yeah, fine. Okay. Ready for it? And we. And. And one, two. Video. Two, and go. Here we go. <laughs> and how far? And then more things without going to like as same thing if you don't have much space. <laughs> and you just have more like stationary stations so kids can just go around. Wrong way. And then practice more balance. Sophie. Sophie. <laughs> there you go. Ready, ready. And same thing you can try to like one side, the other side. Turn. Smile, mama. A grab. Smile. Another grab, and you can be, you can get up. Yeah, I go and jump again, and jump again. So once you get more comfortable, you can still practice a lot of things at home. So we've used the regular board for a long time, for like I don't know, a five, four and a half years now. So still be used. The girls are still having fun on it. It's a great piece of. <laughs> And if you tall, if you if you get down, what do you do, Sophie? You get back up again. You get back up again. Everybody falls, we're all learning. The girls yep. know that a lot because mommy falls a lot, right? So mostly in the tree. Ah, bridge! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> that stuck in the bridge. Yeah. So you can try this and then it depends what you are at home, just be creative with it. And you would we, do that one so so or we're just gonna keep Emma on maybe let's just keep, you Emma. keep Emma on it so that's a little like bouncy toys I don't know the girls used to play with it when they were very little too we just kept it it's a great piece same thing hold the that's hand or like hold them here <laughs> well not if they are ticklish <laughs> because then they keep moving around <laughs> but it's a great way for them to kind of like bounce on it not too hard, not too hard, but like always think safe. Um, not a smile. We've tried maybe a little more extreme things, but always put a helmet on your head if you're doing something. Always, always. <laughs> um, grown up. So it's a great way you can use that and you can use, okay, can you get up and up? Let's go. Okay, and then you can use, if you don't have anything, you probably have a pillow staying around. <laughs> so same thing. Or Same idea. You have a pillow on your bed. Same workout for parents. So that's how we stay fit, right? <laughs> and then more, more wiggle jiggle. <laughs> and then same, same thing. One side, the other side. One eighties. One eighties. Video. Oh. And make sure you take videos. <laughs> make sure. Make one taking videos and like enough of them like being between kids. Siblings can play together. You can keep it. I've lived it. I've left it. Sorry. In, Smile. Smile. It's in the playroom and the girls can just play. They know what to build with it. So it's a very it's part of the playroom. We don't have to go inside because there is no like metal edges. It's very safe. And it's safe on the house. And then Toby wants to try, let's see, let's pull Emma back here. We're gonna go on the other side. Ready, Emma? We're going back to the forest. 
from above to get your head down because Sophie did not the first time and what happened to me? I hit my head and it had to fall and then I went boom! And then I got back down under the tree and you can try something else. Same thing, always hold your kid's hand when you get, we have that little spinny thingy. It's just, I don't know what the name is it. We found it um, at the second hand shop and it's it's been very useful to teach them how to do an idea to spin. Yeah, yeah to spin. Like if they were when you're like doing your, your butter on the snow, watch out, stuff, stuff. Okay, no, so don't let them go, right? Because always, whatever you try, and even for the first time, be very careful. And so it's a great way for them to get the balance of toe, heel, and one foot to the other foot. Okay, so this is thing that the girls know they can only try if I'm here with them. It's not something they do on their own. Only for sitting on it. And you can, yeah, you can Mama, no, I can and also you can go the stand other up way. with it. You can like, without the snowboard, you can stand up on it. There you go. So you it. can use whatever you have at home. Everything is good. If you have a balance board, um, anything you can get your kids to practice. And so that way for next season, anyone, every, everyone is ready. Okay. And it will make the, the first day on snow a lot easier and more fun. And start on little hips. Yeah, start on the bunny heel. Um, Make sure you start on the bunny heel. Okay, yeah, you want to try that one? Sure. Huh. Spin. Then you might get hurt. Don't cry. And wants to go around. So the, the more you do it, the more the kids want to do it. So. And so it's, say, it's a great it. family time indoor right now. Mm -hmm. If you no, want them to have them practice a little more to get their binding off and on, that way you don't have to carry them all the time. Emma's old enough to do it, even Sophie. <laughs> I'm more what a dot I'm strapped. Okay, I'm so we're not. back on the chairlift again. And you can sing a song with whistling. You can whistle. Or if you can't whistle, that's a skill. La, 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 la. And we're almost there again. And make sure Five, you hug your mom and dad. Four, three, two, two one. one. We're getting out of the chalice again. And, and it's a sticky snow. It's summer, right? It's I guess it's spring. Slush around. It's hard to get on. To keep moving. I want to do that, Mama. You want to pull her around? You take a picture. I'll take the pictures. I'm, the, I'm usually the one that takes pictures, but if you know us, you should be the one behind the camera. Hi, can you do it yourself? Yeah. Yep, bye. It's a good strength workout for the little ones. Oh, wow. you did it. Good job. I'll pull her. The rest of the way, uh, maybe. Thank you, you helped. There you go. Getting everyone's energy out. To go further, or like it's just try, um, try, 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 get ideas, try perfect. something new, find whatever you have in the house. If you have a whole cardboard box, oh, it's a great stuff. That your TV came out of, um, not the sled. I mean, anything that you think your kids can be using. Remember to have fun. Yeah, that's Kristen basement. That's a new. That's a new road as on it results um, yeah and so that's what I show you now I will love to see what you've done with your little house and your regular regret part so please tag Burton regret so hashtag Burton regret 
and show us what you've done. I want to see. The girls are very curious, actually. They've been asking to, like, they were hoping actually to talk to people, and we were, but we're not talking to people. We're just talking <laughs> and you're listening. Uh, but the girls are excited to see. What? They're just excited to see what you come up with. And we want to see that gets of more inspiration maybe for us if you tried something that you haven't done. Um, and so that's it. Okay, thank you. Come here. Say bye-bye.